Hey everybody, it's Faith from Firesign Tarot. Hope everybody's well. Knocking out some December readings on this uh, blustery fall evening here in northern Michigan. And I say fall, and I'm stressing fall because it is not quite winter. I'm in denial that winter's coming because it's, it, I, it's a beautiful season, especially up here, don't get me wrong. But this, this old body don't like the cold, I'm not going to lie. But it is what it is. Time passes whether we want it to or not. So, all right, Taurus. Friends, we are throwing them down for you. This reading will be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for December 2021. December, wow. If it resonates with you, cool. Yeah, I just did that. Bear with me. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay, too. You can check your moon rising Venus sign readings. I think you might want something that might resonate a little bit better. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid, and all things can and maybe vice versa. It might even play out from the perspective of a cross-watcher. Energy or friends to cross-watchers are always welcome here at the Fire Sign Table Show. Everybody's all, always welcome at my table, and I appreciate y'all stopping by to say hello to little old me. Thanks for coming down, hanging out. If you're new... Ace of Pentacles came out. If you're new, think we might vibe and stuff, you want to come hang out some more? You can hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That'd be super cool of you. Ooh. Look who was coming out. If you're returning, thanks for coming back by. It's always nice to see a familiar face. Anybody can hit the like button at any time. It all helps the channel. It all helps the videos to be circulated to those who may need the messages. Dang! It started out so good, too. Ace of Pentacles, High Priestess reversed, Temperance reversed, Princess of Wands reversed. I think negative energy. No communication. Possibly a wounded ego. Hmm. Alchemist at the bottom of the deck. Huh. All right. Well, we'll see if any of it comes back out. Never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. I don't care whose cards they are. And if it's not your story, just leave the cards on the table and walk away. All right? Okay. Let's get it going here. Do, 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 do. Oh, come on now. All right. We're going to tip down, invoke the cards, get these guys out of the way for a minute. Heavenly Father, Mother, Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guide, Dark Angels, I ask for any message you have for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with me again today. I appreciate you. I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given, and I ask that you help me use it to bring Taurus to their highest possible spiritual good and put them on their highest possible spiritual path. What's going on, Taurus? Queen of Cups, High Priestess reversed. Mmm. Overflowing with emotion for somebody, certainly holding a cup. But there's a little bit of a wounded ego here. Tell me more. Four of Cups, King of Swords, Three of Cups. Mmm. What's up with that? What's up with that? Oh, goodness. Somebody's contemplating the cup. One second. Sorry. Three cups. That's such a tough call. Because it's the season of gatherings and getting together and gaiety and celebration. I don't know if that's a reunion or just going to a party. Why is everything happening? Eight of Swords, the Moon, and the Hermit River. <laughs> okay. Self-isolation. Anxiety. Lack of clarity. Outcome. Make or break. Temperance reversed. And the Ace of Pentacles. 
Bottom of the deck, Eight of Wands. Fast moving communication. I feel like this King of Swords is the old wise one. Queen of Wands reversed. Mm. <laughs> okay. That goes there. Give me a second. Talk to me about this High Priestess reversed. Talk to me about the High Priestess reversed. Dishonesty. We're cut off in communication. Possibly a blockage in communication. Oh, hi. Whoa. Whoa. King of Cups. Nine of Swords. Hold a phone. Hold the phone. We got a match pair. We got a match pair. Cut off in communication, sleepless nights, anxiety, something only had half a cup. A wounded ego. Somebody's debating about getting back out there. What's this four cups all about? Queen of Cups. Are you thinking about offering a cup or are you thinking about taking a cup? Ten of Swords reversed. You're contemplating it because whoever's trying to offer you this cup has in the past stuck some swords in your back, caused some anxiety. Maybe the cup was only half full to begin with. Don't you dare jump up here, old man. Tigger is staring me down right now. My 13-year-old tabby cat. We call him the old man. He jumps up when he wants attention. I may have to pause. Alright, this king of swords with the queen of wands reversed on top of it. Huh. Nine of wands. Jaded, on guard, walls are up. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Why are these two queens upside down? might be a father figure it it may just be like an honest friend like that person like that blunt as a spoon honest friend you go to for advice is gonna be like you know what it's time <laughs> it's time you're going out you're doing stuff what's this three of cups what's this three of cups Four of Cups came back out. I don't know about those three cups. 
Am I ready? Am I not ready? <sighs> Possibly a missed door of opportunity due to anxiety, self-isolation, five of pentacles reversed. Possibly somebody wanting to come out of the cold with you. Maybe you slam the door in their face. I feel like it's an opportunity for reunion. I don't know if this old wise one's telling you to just, you know, hear them out or... You combative and guarded against it, though. King of Swords came back out. Don't make this decision based on emotion. Make it based on logic. There's anxiety. When there was like mega anxiety in the past leading up to this. Talk to me about this Eight of Swords. Six of Cups. Death. Oof. Something had to come to an end for something to begin anew. This, these things happen. People change. People go on journeys. If somebody you kicked it around with for a minute. Maybe that's why there was a lot of anxiety involved. Temperance reversed, led to some negative energy. Things did not flow well. Things did not go well. Talk to me about the moon. Talk to me about the moon. King of Pentacles. High Priestess. Why would the King of Pentacles and the High Priestess show up? Karma reversed. Eight of Cups reversed, Ten of Pentacles reversed. There was secrets. Lack of clarity. Pot. Could have been an earth sign person. King of Pentacles. Hold on, the cat's about to knock a bunch of stuff over. Sorry, the cat is being a pistol. All right. There were secrets. Buried secrets.
Like somebody possibly had to return to a home situation, maybe? Three of Pentacles reversed. Something was falling apart. Foundations were crumbling. Something was falling apart. They had to return to it. There, there was no clarity, though. Talk to me about this hermit reversed. Talk to me about this hermit reversed. Seven of Swords. Yeah, they they went like rogue. Another card of return. They had to return. Return to rebuild a tower. Oh man, no wonder. Really? Huh. All right. This is weird. This is so weird. It's like making sense, but not making sense. Yet an another extremely case specific one. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Talk to me about temperance reversed. Talk to me about temperance reversed. The star. Healing from the negative energy. The world patience. Allowing something to come to an end so something new can begin. King of Wands. My goodness. People blowing up my phone. Forward movement. Why the King of Wands? Why the King of Wands? Oh. He's angry. Holding the grudge. Combativeness. Anger. A healing's got to take place here. A healing has to take place here. You want things to fruit. Things have to heal. Why the Ace of Pentacles? Why the Ace of Pentacles? This feels very unexpected. Emperor reversed. One more. Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Maintaining control. Six of Wands reversed. Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Swallowing of pride. Swallowing of pride. Oh, shit. Reunion. Reunion. <sighs> Unanswered questions. Sleepless nights. Stabbed in the back. Wounded egos. Pride. It's time. The old wise one says it's time. The old wise one saying it's time to use logic over emotion. I don't know who the hell this is for, but bless you. All right. Let's get sudden unexpected. Shit, Taurus. All right. Let's get a crystal power. Hi. Four of cups. Third time out tonight. I listen to my heart and follow my knowing. Y'all in like some deep introspection mode. It's 
Eight of Pentacles. I dedicate myself to what I believe in. Work and effort. Oh, two for Ace of Wands. I am inspired to follow my passion. And the Wheel of Fortune. I trust whatever the universe brings me. The universe is bringing you a return. I mean, yeah. Nine of Swords, bottom of the deck. I trust the present moment. Woo! A lot of repeat cards here, guys. A lot of repeat cards here. Give me a... Okay. Tick. Old man, down. Thank you. He's, like, seriously wanting my attention right now. I'm almost done. Stop. Stop. <laughs> okay. Wisdom Oracle. One Wisdom Oracle. Give me a Wisdom. No place like home? Orphaned. 50 and 5. Change. Endings and beginnings. Change. New life, 39. Reunion, 3 plus 9 is 12. 1 plus 3 is 2. My goodness, where is my book? Number 50, new life. Home feels safe and secure. It's a comfortable place to rest and create. A place that is known and you can call yours. This card signals that your ability to trust yourself and feel at home in your own skin is beginning to solidify as you claim your dignity and integrity. Aspects of yourself no one can take away from you. You know who you are. You hold your head high, yet with neither pride nor humility. Instead, you stand as the observer, seeing through the eyes of your soul. This puts you in a position of power and strength. Authenticity is your home. You are safe here in the house of your spirit and spirit. Number five, orphaned. We are all meant to have connections with other people within our family and society and the larger culture. No man is an island, and it's important to recognize when being a part of rather than separate from is essential to your well-being. The issue at hand is the need to find where you fit. Be true to your core truths and values. Perhaps you no longer identify with a group or community and the way, the way you did before. You need to find a new situation. You might be feeling a deep sense of loss or confusion. Address the need for belonging and know that you will find your place with others of like mind and spirit. It's okay to let go of the pressure to fit in. Not everyone will understand you. It's time to move on. New life, number 39. Number 39. When spring awakens the world, joy and excitement can be felt all around and in your very core. Blossoms burst from trees. Birds return home to sing their glorious song. And nature is full of promise. Miracles beckon all of us. This is one of those times in your life when new ideas inspire you and new opportunities bring you hope in seeing your dreams come true. All is well in your world and you have the energy you need to feel renewed. Allow your heart to fill with enthusiasm. Let your light shine, for this is a time of good fortune. Let's get an Archangel Michael and call it a read.
lean on God and the angels for support. Dear God and angels, I give you this now and completely. I step out of the way and allow divine miracles to shine through everyone and everything involved. Explore your options. Dear God, thank you for your wisdom and love helping me see, understand, and assess all of my alternative options. Please guide me in the direction best for my health, happiness, and life's purpose. Taurus. I don't know who this was for, but I hope it helped. Thanks for coming down. I appreciate you. Peace, love, and light, friends. I'll catch you for round two.